Today we're going to talk about Destiny 3. Yeah, D3. And we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So today, I wanted to talk to you guys about Destiny 3. Yes, Destiny 3. And it has already been confirmed that Bungie has already started development. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for the month of November, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. Also, I will be giving you guys a few details on the December 2018 giveaways and it is going to be huge now if you are watching this video i am using a new feature on youtube called youtube premieres and this essentially allows me to talk to you guys through a chat on the right hand side as the video is being posted on the channel for the very first time real quick i am going to give a huge huge shout out to mesha sean for letting me know about this feature on youtube a link to his channel and all sources for this video will be in the description below as well so, Destiny 3, take all this information with a grain of salt. So apparently, Anna the Nine, who is a well-known Destiny leaker, is the one who actually replied to a post on Destiny subreddit when a member said, quote, a solid base version of Destiny 3 should already be operational, end quote. Anna then replied, quote, nope, the development is starting now. Chris Barrett, game director, and Luke Smith still there in a big role, end quote. It is said that Destiny 3, aka D3, how I will refer to it a lot in this video, will take place on Europa, which is one of Jupiter's moons that has been seen in previous Destiny concept arts many times. And I really don't know how much of this is actually true because when the Warmind was announced, many had speculated that the Warmind would take place on Europa, but as we already know, that didn't actually happen. However, and in the nine has predicted many things that have come to light in the Destiny franchise, so there's definitely some truth to that. It has also been said that Destiny 3 will focus more on the RPG elements as well as the hardcore play than it did in Destiny 2. So let's break this down. There are a lot of RPG elements in Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 that Bungie had brought to the game, but there are still tons more that they could bring to the table that we haven't even seen just yet in any Destiny so far. Now, we all know that D1 and D2 are not RPGs or MMOs, right? But both games do share those elements of those types of games. Adding more of an RPG element could allow for many different aspects of the game to be improved. For one, our character could actually have a voice again. I mean like a real voice and not that crap they did in Forsaken where your character only said, you won't have to. Aldrin Solve is mine. And that's pretty much all your character said throughout Forsaken. That's kind of depressing. And for a lot of people, it definitely was a total letdown. Anyway, back to the RPG thing. Another RPG element that Bungie could implement is giving our character a personality. Now, I'm not talking like different voices or anything, because if we did have a voice, I'm pretty sure Bungie would actually give us at least three options for male and female. But also, giving us the ability to make choices out of a few options during the cinematics. That's something Bungie hasn't done in the Destiny franchise yet, and it would be definitely nice to see. And as I said before, there are so many different RPG elements that could be introduced into Destiny 3, but a lot of them are kind of far-fetched. For example, I'm pretty sure they're not going to turn Destiny 3 into a turn-based game. But anyways, let me try to get back on topic. According to that same leak, Guardians in D3 will be able to harness the power of the darkness, which is the opposite of what we currently use right now, which is the light. Now, this would be a huge turn of events and change in the game. Since Destiny 1, all we have used was the light. But being able to harness the darkness as well, that's pretty interesting. And I definitely would like to see what new subclasses would actually come with that. There will also be some open world areas that will feature PvPvE combat, which is player versus player versus environment. There are a lot of MMOs out there that actually have this incorporated into their game. World of Warcraft, as well as Star Wars The Old Republic, both do it, just to name a few. According to the article, Destiny 2 Vanilla was Bungie's idea from the start, 
and it was for a different type of audience than D3 will be. Quote, if D3 will really have the idea they want to implement, trust me, a lot of Guardians who play two hours per week will abandon the game. They are going balls out with the RPG stuff. End quote. Now that is a huge, huge statement to say. I mean, this could be a bad thing, but then again, it could be a good thing. Now the article did talk about the hardcore aspect of Destiny 3, but not much of the hardcore aspect was talked about much except that, quote, just know that D3 will be even more hardcore-y than Forsaken. And finally, they're going to push the RPG side of the game, end quote. Now Anna the Nine did specify a lot about RPG aspects, RPG aspects, RPG aspects. Pretty much just stressed that RPG aspects will be in Destiny 3. If any of this is true, then I am actually very, very excited because I have said from the beginning that the Destiny franchise should have a good balance of being an MMO, RPG, and first person shooter game. It started off pretty good, and these elements are what makes a great game for any type of gamer, especially when you combine the three. Other gaming companies have tried to copy the style and add their own tank on it, but it will never be an original. If Destiny 3 is taking more of an RPG role than it has in the past, then we as Guardians definitely have a lot to look forward to. So what do you guys think? Or better yet, how do you feel about the possible changes that are coming to the Destiny franchise? Would you guys believe the leak? Or would you just guys like to wait and see what actually happens? Personally, I love the idea, but I actually want to see how Bungie plans on doing it, especially when it comes to the hardcore aspect of D3. And if Bungie keeps up the same trend that they had done with D2, then we should actually expect to see Destiny 3 in September 2020, and probably get the first trailer about Destiny 3 directly from Bungie to the public around summer 2020. This franchise can go in so many different directions, but the right direction, which is what the majority of the people enjoy, is where they need to go. Destiny 2 Forsaken was, in my opinion, a success and a step in the right direction, but to get to your destination? Well, Bungie is actually very, very far from it. And even though Bungie had a 10 year plan for Destiny, there is so much room for improvement and I feel that there could be a Destiny 4 and possibly even a Destiny 5 in the distant future. It's either create another iconic Destiny game or throw in the towel. And I doubt that Bungie is ready to throw in the towel anytime soon. Yes, there is tons of speculation in this article and tons of speculation that can be done and I already have several scripts in the works so stay tuned for those. As for the December Destiny 2 giveaways, well, all I'm going to say is that there will be four, yes, four giveaways for December 2018. I'm not going to say what the prizes are just yet because I got to add a little suspense to the mix. But I promise you, you guys will definitely like that. So keep it locked on the channel. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.